How are you guys? Are you well? I hope you are. We are doing a voiceover for this vlog because it just wasn't a, a vlog that I ended up going on camera. It just wasn't one of those weeks. And to be honest, I'm overdue for a studio vlog for you guys, so I'm sorry about that. I had a really busy last couple weeks. Um, <clears throat> I had quite a few orders that needed to go out and um, as you can see I did a little bit of an update and had some really cute birds um, and that's taken up a lot of my time so I tried to film what I could here and there and uh, compile it in a semi-cohesive way for you to enjoy and uh, speaking of um, compiling this vlog I Lo don't know about you, but I love to listen to like ambient videos on YouTube and one of my favorites is like a coffee house video that has rain in the background. So for your viewing pleasure, I hope it makes it cozier. We've got a little bit of rain going in the background of this video, so please enjoy that. If it annoys you endlessly, just let me know in the comments below and we will we will work something out, but I thought that it made things cozier and just just all the happy feelings. Um, my shop has some new additions and some new uh, ways of producing, <laughs> I suppose, these new additions. I have a few note cards that I had ordered printed, um, you know, out of house, and they ended up just being too expensive. I wasn't able to charge for them what I wanted. Selling them in sets was quite expensive. And for greeting cards, I would understand that, but for note cards, I wanted it to be something that you could enjoy with on, on more of a budget. Just have a stash of it in your stationary, your stationary set. So, I ended up doing some research into printing them myself, and that has been really fun. It has been um, just really exciting to take control of that section of my shop and also really uh, instant gratification. <laughs> I don't have to wait for someone else to print these note cards for me. Um, so I, you can see here I've been stamping envelopes with some gold permanent ink um, just for a little bit of flair on the back flap of the envelopes and I think that makes them really special. So the paper that I use for these note cards is actually recycled. A portion of it is made with post-consumer content, 30% um, I believe. And the paper is textured with a really lovely like uh, linen tooth and I, I love textured paper. So I thought that gave them a more vin vintage feel. And unlike the first batch of note cards that I had printed um, off-site, these are off-white. So if you happen to purchase my um, self-printed note cards and the first set that will, the price will be different in the shop for those, then you'll notice them next to each other having a different color. But in the photos, they both still look white. You really don't notice that they're off-white until you get them um, in person, but my husband and I have discussed it and we think the off-white just looks great, very vintage, very classic and classy. <laughs> so I love these note cards. I love packaging them and um, tying them off with a bit of cotton twine just 
makes me think of these old stationery shops, old ha haberdashery shops that you would go into and um, just grab a set of note cards. And I, of course, I like the illustrations too. And I hope all of you guys do as well. I've sold um, several sets already and I've only had them in the shop at this point a week, maybe, maybe not quite. So yeah, I'm really happy with that addition, and I'm so glad to see several of you enjoying them so far. In my last vlog, you may recall me mentioning that I was going to be having a gallery event at the very beginning of this month. The hope was that they would be at the end of every month, but the timing didn't work out um, on my side. So I am happy to say that that was far more successful than I had anticipated, especially for it being an update that had no clay in it. <laughs> so thank you so much for those of you that, to those of you that have supported the art in my shop and um, attended the gallery event, even if it was just to leave a comment, um, hit the like button, what whatever it was that you did to support the gallery event meant so much to me. And I am happy to continue putting art in the shop, um, both original and prints, and uh, since then I have noticed an uptick in um, purchases of art in the shop. It's really exciting. I never imagined that I would sell so much of my artwork, and yeah, it's just, it's a really, really great feeling um, and has kept me quite busy for the last week or two especially um, as I was getting those orders out from from the gallery event so thank you thank you again to everyone that supports the shop it keeps us going around here it is um, our only income at this point we are very blessed and I hope it stays that way I am so happy to create things that you all are enjoying and that I enjoy creating for you and speaking of creating super fun pieces of art. I had a commission. Um, a longtime customer contacted me after seeing my chickadee and socks and asked if I would paint her favorite bird wearing some knitwear and of course I said yes. So this kill deer was uh, created start to finish with her help. I, we were in contact with each other chatting about this bird. Um, or these birds and I learned a lot that I didn't know about them and to say thank you as I have been doing with any original painting um, of 5 by 7 or larger I included a set of note cards for her of the original sketch um, of the killdeer so she has since received her package she was so happy I was so grateful for her business
me again. Hopefully you guys don't mind this bit and how long it goes watching me paint. I have been a little obsessed lately with um, Twitch and watching artists on Twitch. I just love seeing how other people create their art pieces and so I decided to pretend for a moment that <laughs> that other people also I know other people like it because obviously I'm in a chat with a lot of other people that like to watch people make art. I've said people a lot. Okay. Um, so I thought maybe I would put a little bit longer clip than usual of me painting this chipmunk with the s'mores. Fun story about this painting. Um, so I really don't leave the house very often, but one of the few times that I did recently, um, my mother-in-law and I went to the local farm and home. I say local, but you know, it's like 40 minutes away. Anyway, there was a t-shirt there and it had a chipmunk on it and the chipmunk was eating a s'more. And it didn't look quite like this. There were several differences and I don't think it was even in color, but it was so inspiring. I was like, I have to make a chipmunk eating a s'more. And that day also, um, the reason I was in farm and home um, other than just being there with her, was I had purchased um, for Rory's birthday, our daughter, she asked for a sun, 
sun hat for her birthday. And when she got it, our son, um, he was like, well, where's my sun hat? Which our daughter is very fair skinned. Um, our son, I don't know that he's ever gotten sunburned. He just tans. Um, whereas our daughter is like me, she gets sunburned pretty easy. She gets really exhausted whenever she's exposed to too much sun. So it made more sense to get her a sun hat, but he really wanted one. And of course they're adorable. I love sun hats. Um, I actually bought myself one this year as well, so I kind of look like Morticia. It is a massive, massive black sun hat, so um, if there is any footage this summer of me outside, you will probably see me in that hat um, because, you know, I'm part vampire and need to avoid the sun. But all that to say, the hat that this little chipmunk is wearing is inspired by the hat that I actually ended up buying for our son that day. So yeah, I kind of combined that outing into one painting and it makes it pretty special um, because yeah, I was just so excited to see an anthropomorphic um, artwork, sort of. I mean, I know it was on a t-shirt, but still it was like, that's like what I like to paint and I was so excited. So it inspired uh, this painting. And also this painting is one of the few critters that I've done recently. I feel like well, I don't feel like all I've been painting lately are birds, which I'm not upset about and none of you are upset about it. Everybody has been loving the birds and I know I'll go back to doing critters soon, um, but just right now I am embracing my love of the birds. But anyway, um, so this little chipmunk is kind of outnumbered right now. He'll be in the shop. Uh, let's see. At the time of recording this, I mean, he'll be in the shop probably by tonight so by the time you watch this he'll probably already be in the shop but yeah so I hope that you guys like him because I think he's cute oh and his name is Harry um, Rory named him and um, my son named the uh, other painting that you'll see later in this video he named that piece so anyway I will let you watch me paint for a little while longer and of course if you're bored just fast forward through it um, but I just thought I would share my love of watching people paint by putting a long bit in the center of this video of watching me paint.
And we've arrived to the second long painting bit. It's not quite as long as uh, the chipmunk, but this is so satisfying for me to watch. Um, me blend these, uh, I think I ended up using two, or no, I used three colors. I used two shades of blue and one shade of green um, to make this mohawk. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite paintings I have done so far. I love him. His name is Andy. Um, when my son came back here, he saw me working on him and he was like, mom, is that for me? And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, do I get that? Do I get to put that in my room? I was like, well, sure, buddy, if that's what you want. I mean, not that I was super excited or excited, not that I was super surprised that he wanted it or liked it. Um, he tends to like, um, you know, the scully stuff, stuff like, um, like I do. And I don't know if he likes it because he likes it or if he likes it because I do. I mean, time will tell. But regardless, he was really excited about this skateboarding, um, duck. And one of the YouTube channels, which we do not, as a rule, let our kids watch YouTube. But there is one, my son will watch Zebra Gaming. And then there's another, I can't remember what it's called. The dad's name is Andy. Um, 
anyway, it's, it's a dad and a kid, which, I mean, I'm not super cool with that, but they like to watch it, and the dad skateboards. I think the kid skateboards, too? So it's inspired Will to skateboard. He His birthday is in July, and he has asked for his first skateboard. And fun fact, um, my uh, son... <laughs> No, my husband was a skater in school. Um, we were both emo kids and he skated. He wore the skater shoes. I wore skater shoes too, but I didn't skate. And uh, he played hacky sack. So now my son, he's interested in learning hacky sack and also learning to skate. So um, I think that made my husband excited and a little nervous too. Our son isn't the most coordinated fella yet, but I mean, practice that's that's the only thing that will help so um all that to say this little duck ended up going in his room i treated it with the uv spray that i've been treating all my original paintings with before they leave our house um i haven't had a problem with the watercolors i use fading in the light um in sunlight but i didn't want to risk it especially for people who are purchasing like actually purchasing original paintings from my shop so anytime i have a commission or anytime an original painting is purchased from the uh, artwork section of my shop i make sure that that is treated with a uh, uv sealant uv protective sealant and um i think in the next video i will show you how i do that but yeah anyway so there he is he's so cute i'm so happy with him and uh, here i just show you a little bit of the process that goes behind um the digital alterations i do to my pieces before well not before to turn them into prints so i guess yeah before i turn them into prints um i will scan the artwork into my computer and sometimes it gives me a pretty clean white background, but there's really no way for at least my scanner, because it's not super fancy or anything, to avoid um, little spots in the background or shadows. So I erase the background and then add one digitally, but everything else stays the same. And um, yeah, I had to turn these guys into note cards. So those are in the shop now. Um, and. I think that a few of them have already sold so anyway I thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have made it to this point well done I mean we're 30 minutes into just either watching me do random things or listening to me talk so I commend you <laughs> and um, yeah I will have another vlog up hopefully next week I'm hoping to go back to weekly vlogs now that things are calming down a little bit um, but I hope you're well. I hope that you're enjoying life and, you know, drinking lots of water, staying healthy, creating. We need to be creating all the time. It makes us happy. So if you haven't created something yet today, make sure that you do that. But anyway, I will let you guys finish out this video in peace and I will see you next time. And uh, be well, my friends. Thank you for watching. Bye.
Thank you.